In health news tonight, a development in the detection of brain aneurysms. They can strike and kill without any warning, but a new type of brain scan is helping doctors see the problem early so they can fix it. Our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell, has our report. This is going to be the 3D angiogram. It is amazing new imaging that allows doctors to see balloon-like swellings in blood vessels in the brain better than ever. They are called aneurysms. An estimated 6 million Americans have them. If they rupture, the results can be devastating, killing about 10,000 a year. I think there's something there. The advanced imaging found five aneurysms in this patient. Now with modern imaging, we see many of these patients who have an aneurysm incidentally diagnosed. Vice President-elect Biden almost died from a ruptured aneurysm 20 years ago. After surgeons repaired the one that ruptured, they found a second one and fixed it. Doctors discover aneurysms when people have symptoms, usually severe headaches like Biden did, or a family history, or when they get a brain scan for a different reason. To repair them, Let's surgeons either clip off the aneurysms with open oh, brain buddy. surgery. There's several different coils we use. Or use this procedure, putting coils through tubes called stents that run from the leg to the blood vessels in the brain. This spin angiogram yeah. that allows us to create a three-dimensional reconstruction. How much of improvements in imaging helped you do your job? Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. Now with our three-dimensional angiographic imaging, we can really look at the uh, relationships very well and determine what we're going to need to do to uh, treat that aneurysm. And the coils are packed in here? Correct. So, the aneurysm uh, repairs usually so work very well. I'm not. <laughs> Betty Daniels got a brain scan because she had a family history of aneurysms Push it out. and was starting to feel lightheaded. Doctors found and fixed three, and she is quite relieved. All the way, all the way. Good job. I'm really in, basically in good shape for my age. <laughs> But uh, I feel good. Very still. The biggest research goal was developing inexpensive tests to find aneurysms in more people before they rupture. I think they're all unchanged. Robert Bazell, NBC News, Los Angeles.